Hi Endeavour and welcome to our very first um, remote enrichment assembly. So I was so excited to be asked to come back today. Um, this is the first time I've been out of my house in how many weeks. I'm so, so very excited, but at the same time so sad that when I came through the doors, there was none of you here to say hello to. So, this is the next best thing. So the aim of today's assembly is to look at all of those things that we've been doing since we've been in lockdown, and there's been loads going on. We're also going to look at some of the scores, um, and also some of the activities that we have coming up. Now, you're used to my assemblies, actually, involving some of my favourite music artists. Sadly, I can't play some of those music to you because of copyright, but we've got the next best thing. So take that, Endeavour, one of my favourite bands, and back in 1994 they released a single called Everything Changes. And I think you would agree that actually everything has changed. Everything's changed for us now. We're now doing lessons remotely, we're working from home. Some of our holidays have been cancelled. My favourite Westlife concert has even been cancelled. It's really, really hard and very, very different, but everything does change. And with changes, there comes challenges. And so today I thought I'd share some of my challenges that I've had with you over this lockdown period. Now, as a food teacher, You'll be pleased to know that I've been making lots of lots of different food at home. And I started the lockdown um, by looking back at old recipes that my mum had given me as a young child. I thought I'd give them a try. I tried new recipes. I tried new food. I baked cakes in my slow cooker. I baked fudge in my slow cooker. Who knew you could even bake sweet things in a slow cooker? I made custard tarts from Portugal. I roasted bits of meat for about six hours, things that I wouldn't have time to do. And it was so great. I used up all the ingredients in my food cupboard. And then my stomach started to actually feel the input of all this baking. And so I thought, I need to change this. So my challenge now, Endeavour, is to start baking foods with a bit less sugar. So I've, this weekend, made myself some seed crackers. I've made myself new salads and new vegetarian dishes and new dishes from all over the world. And it really has been a challenge because I've had to use ingredients that I've never even used before. But thankfully, I'm feeling a lot more healthier. Now part of this new health regime for me was involving my sister. And I phoned my sister and she said to me, are you going out for a walk? Are you enjoying where you live? And I said, not really, because, well, there's lots of footpaths, as you can see from here. There's lots of woods, and I'm actually a little bit frightened of going into the woods. I'm frightened of getting lost. So I haven't actually used my exercise time to investigate what's around me. But after that conversation and her telling me, download this app. You'll have great fun. You'll find footpaths you've never seen before in the areas you live. She'd walk through fields of broad beans, fields of different vegetables. And she said it's really, really invigorating, really great fun. And so that's my new challenge. So for over half term, I'm going to download that app and I'm going to go and investigate some of these beautiful places just around the corner from where I live, literally two minutes walk away into the woods. And hopefully I won't get too scared. Now, let's have a look at the scores, because I know you're all really, really uh, excited to know where we're at. However, it's not good news, I'm afraid, Endeavour, because we are currently in third place with 590 points. Now, this half term, this term since we've been in the lockdown, we've only actually managed to win once. So, and that was with Gwen, uh, Gwenny Coombs from Year 7 with her beautiful picture of her Jay nibbling that little peanut um, out the back of her garden. So it was a fantastic picture um, and I loved all my favourite birds. So that was a clear winner. But Endeavour, I do need you to get a little bit more involved and really push yourselves because we need to knock Endeavour, um, not Endeavour, uh, Defender off of the leaderboard there. We're not too far behind and we can do it in the next seven and a half weeks for sure. So looking at some of the activities you've all been involved in recently. So 
We have obviously the big clap for the NHS, and I'm sure you're all out there celebrating at 8 pm, banging your saucepans, clapping, cheering. It really is a wonderful community spirit, and I really hope that you're getting involved with that. I loved seeing your videos and your pictures, they were absolutely phenomenal. And um, because I've missed you so much, it was so, so lovely to see them. So do carry on with that. We have the Belfast recipe book, and now as you know, and I said at the beginning of this assembly, I've been doing lots of baking, so I did bake um, a couple of the recipes out of there, and actually for VE Day, I cooked the uh, lemon meringue cakes. They were absolutely delicious, so I really would recommend them. They were gorgeous. We have the toilet roll challenge, and I'm sure you've all got loads of toilet rolls. Some of you are feeling very arty, um, and I really love this um, entry here. Um, with the, the Belfast uniform on, so that was really, really great work. We have the Nature Watch. We had so many entries for the Nature Watch. I cannot believe how much of you enjoy your walks and see so many wonderful things, wonderful wildlife coming into your garden. So it's really, really wonderful to see all of those images. Really difficult to choose a winner too, um, but really, really brilliant. We've got the bunting challenge. As I've just driven into Lee, I cannot get over the amount of bunting that you've got down your streets. There's nothing like where I live. We had it out for the ED, uh, but after that, the bunting in my village has certainly all but disappeared. So it was really, really lovely. And it was beautiful to see just some of the rainbow bunting and things that were coming through, um, and certainly some of the textiles that was being made for that challenge. And then possibly my favorite, um, challenge so far has been the TikTok challenge. It's such great fun to make them. Hard work, but really good fun. Um, and here we've got Harmony's dog was featured in, in one of them. So really, really lovely. I want to break free TikTok. Fantastic. Really, really well done for those of you that got involved. Now, I want to make a big special shout out to some of you, Endeavour, who've taken part so far in all of these challenges. So first of all, Gwenny. Gwenny has literally done absolutely every challenge that we've set. And Endeavour, she's actually won for us. So big shout out to Gwenny. Well done. Really, really good job. Gareth Martin, he took more than one photograph. He took several photographs out when he went out for a walk. Um, some beautiful photography just done simply on his iPhone. Amazing. Really, really great. Dylan, lovely to see you and again doing so many activities and seeing you out with your dad and your siblings clapping on the, on the street, so really well done, brilliant job. Uh, Sophia Johnson, again, marvellous out there celebrating the NHS and Sophia's been really fundamentally important working with some of the student ambassadors, giving us ideas as to what we can do for those challenges. So thank you Sophia for your input. Uh, Julianne Box made the most brilliant bird, bird cake <clears throat> as part of the recipe book really demonstrating that rainbow theme that we're seeing all the time. And then we've got Isabel Holder. So Isabel, again, getting involved, but also taking time to do some brilliant artwork in her own time. It's not set by the teachers, but she's finding things to do. And then finally, Nicole Rowe from Year 9. Nicole, again, getting involved in the Nature Watch, in the clap, um, the NHS clapping. Absolutely brilliant. But what I'd like to see, Endeavour, is more of you getting involved, more of you sending in your photographs when they come through. It really does make my day um, to see what you're doing and, in some cases, seeing images of you um, enjoying yourself and having really great fun. So, telling you a little bit now what we've got coming up. Now, possibly, I'm really excited about this next one coming up. Uh, next week um, and it will be over the holidays and it is our recreation family photograph. So taking a photograph perhaps of your family, maybe when you were um, one, two, three years old and recreating that image with either your own family or, or even by yourself. But you can have really great fun with this so I really can't wait to see as many of those as possible. Uh, other challenges we've got is the street name challenge. So perhaps going round Leon C, looking for different street names that spell out Belfares, and <clears throat> you know maybe making you walk a little bit further than you would ordinarily have done. We've got the hair lockdown challenge. How different is your hair? Have you been brave enough and dyed your hair that you wouldn't ordinarily be allowed to do whilst you're at school? I know a couple of you, I'm sure, have. Have you gone for the chop? or are you growing it really long like me? 
And then finally, we've got the Guinness Book of Records challenge. What do you think you could be in the Guinness Book of Records for? Could you do the biggest handstand? Could you do the biggest wheelie? Can you sing the loudest? What talent have you got that you think could get you into the Guinness Book of Records? Again, images would be brilliant, photos sent in for that. But all of this will be coming out to you in the next term. So I'm going to kind of leave you with another quote from Take That. Um, now this is one of my favourite songs, and probably not a song you would have heard of. I'm sure many of you probably don't enjoy Take That, although I think some of your parents might. But this song lyric is taken from the song The Garden. And it says, this is the life we've been given. So open your heart and mind and start living. We can play a part if we only start believing. So what I think this lyric is saying to you, Endeavour, is that this is our life. This is the new normal. This is how we're going forward for the time being. But opening our minds, taking part, and making the most of what we've got. And you can see here, this is a map of my village. These are all the fields. So for me, I'm opening my mind and I'm going to start investigating and walking along some of those footpaths um, and hopefully I won't get too lost. So just a quick reminder, Endeavour, about the uh, Excellent Student Project. We've had a few entries from you. It's been really lovely to see. Um, you have until the end of the week to get your, the remaining uh, research projects in, so that would be marvellous if we can see them. Um, I know some of you already are excellent students, but I think this would be a really, really great product to get involved in. And then finally, Belfair Stand Strong Together. Here are all of you being involved on our NHS Thursday evening clap. Now, Belfair, we always do stand strong together. Endeavour, we stand strong together. We've got to do what we've got to do to win, okay? And it's about taking part, being together, and having fun. So our final message, endeavour from me today, is I want you all to stay safe. I want you obviously to stay at home. I want you to stay focused. But in addition to this, I want you to have fun and also take part in everything we offer. We are working so hard to have really exciting things for you. So look after yourselves and hopefully we'll get to see you really soon. Take care.